in January this year, I was part of a delegation from the New Zealand Parliament that went to the Asia Pacific Parliamentary Forum. It brings uh, nations from all across the Asia Pacific region. It's a great opportunity to meet your counterparts as we talk about the different issues that face not only our countries but our region. It's my first uh, big forum like that attending as a Member of Parliament. So first and foremost kind of making connections with other uh, Members of Parliament in other parts of the world and understanding how issues like climate change or gender equality impacted in other countries. There's a couple of things I talked on. So the first one, uh, the topic was around gender balance. And so one of my big drivers around gender balance is less about quotas and numbers and it's more about getting in and supporting those women to be able to make a difference in our communities. Whether we are spouses, sisters, mothers, kids, you know, whoever we are, we can actually get in and support those women and I think women's organisations need to get in and support them as well. So some of the topics that we talk about are obviously about issues around democracies, uh, representation, uh, whether we're seeing improved gender balance in parliaments and also, you know, the cultural diversity, uh, it's such an important area because so many nations have people from other nations living in their territories. They become wonderful opportunities for uh, appreciation and obviously building relationships that benefit in trade in the Asia Pacific. I got to speak on four different topics. The ones that are closest to my heart uh, were climate change and also addressing the drivers of radicalisation, uh, particularly around internet, given New Zealand's um, time in March 15th was quite pertinent. The other topic that I talked about uh, was food security, which is near and dear to my heart. One of the things that I put to the conference was that in New Zealand we're a major exporter of food, whereas other countries their major problem might be industrial, uh, it might be something to do with energy. So rather than trying to have every country pushing their country to the extreme, by working together as nations we can look at the different profiles and together make a difference. It was a time when there was huge extremes of weather patterns taking place. I think it was a pretty good segue into some of the conversations that took place around the challenge of climate change as well. One of the things that was very awakening for me was that having discuss climate change at a time uh, when there was um, significant devastation in and around Canberra as a result of the Australian bushfire disaster and being in an environment that was um, quite heavily smoked up at the time, uh, that was a topic that was being discussed quite quite a lot around the tables. We all get on very, very well. You know, you lose your, your, you know, the, your parliamentary colours when you go overseas and we're all basically Kiwis representing the great place of New Zealand. Members of Parliament travel together. We're all representing New Zealand and uh, you know we take that middle ground where we all work together to achieve what we need to achieve. It's about um, getting New Zealand engaged with the other countries and representing ourselves as well as we can. The Australians did a fantastic job of hosting us. It was wonderful to have an event held right in the parliamentary precinct, which was fascinating, and also acknowledging how great it was to work alongside of my parliamentary colleagues. We had a really good time and worked well as a team.